I believe art is an escape from a painful reality. Art, noun, the expression of talent from an individual that may be showcased and displayed in personal expression, such as fashion, literature expression, such as stories or poems, or expression of skill, such as drawing and sculpting. The definition of art can vary from person to person, depending on individual opinions and experiences. Art has been a part of my life since my childhood, listening to music, drawing, Learning new languages from watching television and crafting was all part of my childhood. My parents agreed to let me take piano lessons and were quite excited that I had taken an interest to in music. Now, I listen to and create music, draw, and learn new languages on a daily basis. Art has shaped my life and current interests from a year, very young age. Oftentimes, I use art as an escape from reality. Seeing the stars through my bedroom window in the hours of darkness, I draw and write until the hours of dawn. Art has helped me cope with problems that I cannot deal with on my own. I was sent to a private school for fifth grade. This school was severely different from the small public school that I have went to my entire life. The process of leaving the few friends that I had was very hard, especially for a fourth grader. I was teased and taunted in fifth and sixth grade. I would turn to art to calm me down and reassure me that I could power through anything. Art gave me a break from trying to be like everyone else. Pushing myself out of my comfort zone to try and fit into my new school to make friends was mentally draining. So by the end of the day, I was exhausted. So melancholy, in fact, that my daily tears on the drive home were becoming a concern to my mother. But in that very school that has cost me hundreds of thousands of gallons of tears, it was also my very own paradise. In my art class, so many people had shared my sense of creativity. By the, time in, by the time I was in sixth grade, I knew the entire class of 2023. I was not the same as I was in fifth grade. I was calm and composed. And although I had my fair share of difficulties and problems, I persevered. Unfortunately, my hope was short-lasted. I hit a breaking point. I had collapsed from the pressure of school and always trying to fit in and be perfect, and I cracked. I had forgotten about my release of stress, art. I was so busy trying to be perfect and popular and smart that I had forgotten the plain and simple fact that I was cracking from the inside out. This was the moment when it hit me. Art is so much more important than people realize. Before I knew it, all the friends that I once had had vanished into thin air, was forced to switch schools yet again. I had to go back to the small and nearby middle school that contained all my old friends and even some of my past enemies, memories both good and bad. I was terrified. Going back to a school where everyone's last memory of me was crying on the last day of fourth grade? Not an ideal situation to be stuck in. Well, it's not that bad. It could be worse, I reminded myself except it was worse. I got teased and taunted for the mistakes I had made in fourth grade. Day after day, school and grades weighed me down, and the fact that I plainly didn't fit in made things even worse. So, to heal my sorrows, I once again turned to art. I stayed up until the hours of dawn, drawing, painting, writing, until I had gone through two entire sketchbooks in less than three months, whereas one notebook usually lasts me three months alone. Eventually, I realized that I was not who I was in fourth grade. I was different now. I was a better person by facing my fears and realizing through trial and error that it's okay to be judged. As long as you believe in yourself, others will believe as well. The first moment that my parents brought me an electric device, I was overjoyed. The first thing that I discovered I could do was listen to music. Soon, I had various apps that let me blast music on my iPad. I would have my earbuds in all the time. It had gotten to the point that my parents would threaten to take my iPad away from me because they had gotten so annoyed with music playing all the time. When I got two iPods, one from my sister and another that my parents bought me, I went crazy. I discovered that it was possible to make your own music. My love for music skyrocketed. Music has been there for me in all the struggles and happiness in my life. Music has been there for me when people could not. When my parents bought me my first iPhone, something that could play music without being connected to Wi-Fi. I was ecstatic. Music was a release of stress for me. It portrays the emotions that I feel through an enchanting melody that many people can relate to. Although not everybody speaks the same language, music unites people regardless of language, religion, race, or gender. Music is an art form like no other. Art, uniting people, 
regardless of any limiting or discriminating factor, is the language of the world. I believe art is an escape from a painful reality.